I need to adjust the sound levels for this game, I think. Does it even have music? Did I turn it off? No. How is that? Can you even hear those sound effects? Hello, Alpha. Hello, Kate. Jamoni, I've heard that this game is incredibly cozy. Quite possibly too cozy for its own good. But we'll find out. Let's see. Stardew Valley. I got it cranked really low. <sighs> yes, it is good to see some gameplay. I've avoided, like, watching anything about this game. Hello, Slaxer. How loud is my scratch pad here? Can you guys at least hear that? There's no music yet, I guess, until we get into the game. And I don't want to have to get out of the window to do audio mixing. Not too loud, not too low. I guess that's good. Hey, Alpha. Didn't you make this right here? Can you see that on the stream? I don't know if the screen switched or not. Didn't you make this Sims 2 picture? I thought you did. I thought you did. I'm trying to get all of that stuff labeled. After the last video, I think we talked about some of the some of the art that people have made for me. I don't have all of it labeled, unfortunately, with the artists because I'm horrible. I'm gonna crank the sound up a little bit more. If it blows your guys' eardrums out, you'll have to tell me. We are going to be Sergi. Farm name is Clover, and our favorite thing is freedom. See, like, the music to me seems really loud. But on the equalizer, it looks pretty... Pretty level, I guess. Freedom from... Actually, you know, maybe it should be Freedom Farm instead of Clover Farm. Hmm. Nah. Fuck cats. I've never been a big cat person. I mean, I guess cats aren't bad. Okay, I shouldn't say fuck cats, because that's a little bit extreme. But I would I would rather have a a dog than a cat. That dog is gonna chase off bears and wolverines. It's gonna chase off Sasquatches and Sam Squanches. What's the cat gonna do? It's gonna kill a mouse. It's gonna barf on my pillow. It's gonna piss in my plants. It's gonna give me Toxoplasma gondoli and rot my brain out. I mean, I'd rather have a dog. That is all I'm saying. I don't know how much I want to actually adjust my character here. We could be just, holy crap, 32 hairstyles? Okay. I'm pretty sure that it's half and half. Like half of the hairstyles are gonna be ladies. The other half are gonna be men's. And in the end, it's all questionable anyways. We've got our Chrono Trigger hair. Afro? I don't think so. Let's go with that. That's closest to my current hair. Um, shirts. How many of those are there? 112 shirts! <laughs> no wonder. I, this is why the game took, like, what was it, three or four years to release? He was busy drawing shirts, doing recolors for shirts. I was expecting maybe 12, 8 different things. Most games <laughs> have no selection at all. I'm actually kind of impressed. Um, I just want something basic. I don't know if you can get armor in this game that covers things up or not. I know that there is a combat oriented rune factory style system. You know what? I kind of like that. Just a, a jacket with a shirt, I guess, underneath it. And 20 accessories. Sunglasses. Hmm. What do we want? I think that's a beard. You know what? Well, I don't... I guess a beard's an accessory, but... Okay. 24 different skins. Every color under the sun. You want to cosplay as someone from Avatar on this planet? By all means. 
Go ahead. You want to be a smurf, maybe? Go for it. Roleplay to your heart's content. <sighs> yeah, that is the downside, Jamoni. That's kind of the one thing that made me hesitate. I would have liked glasses to go with my beard. I wear glasses. Why can't I do both? I guess I, I won't complain too much. Pants color. Um, all the colors can stay default. Eye color, actually. Closer to gray. It might not be gray, but whatever. So not not white, because that would be spooky. Um, let's just... Okay, I'm not going to skip the intro, because I haven't actually seen it yet. Whenever I tested the game out, I bypassed the story completely. But apparently, this is Santa Claus. And four... My very special grandson. I have to press a button. Or will I skip everything? I want you to have this sealed envelope. That's what the bad kids get in this world from Santa. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience, wait until I'm dead. Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Every day, and your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. But can I rekindle it, Santa Claus? When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. And only when you're contemplating suicide because you hate life so much will you open this. Twenty years later, we work at Joja. Join us! Thrive! Apparently it's work mode. You should be placing your calls or answering your calls. There should be no more than three seconds between calls. Your breaks will be 15 minutes exactly from the time you hit hold on your automatic call service. And no, you may not take a bathroom break unless you are on your 15 minute break. And then we remembered Grandpa's letter. Dear Saggy, if you're reading this you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong, the North Pole. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and my elves are going to be on the Clover Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's a perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa Claus. Um, I have to say, Grandpa, if you would have given this gift to me sooner, I bet you it wouldn't be in the condition it is. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Dear Saggy, blah 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 blah. Okay. I guess I gotta click on this tiny little X up here. And pray to God you don't slip up and click close the window right above it. I guess Grandpa wanted to wait until we truly hated life. That way we, we would appreciate living on a dirty old farm. Well, it's better than dealing with corporate bullshit for one more minute of my life. The window on the 15th floor was starting to look pretty appealing. Stardew Valley. Half a mile. Dead ahead. Okay, you spooky little bird. Hello, Lorian.
Hello! I'm not gonna do voices for any of these characters, so they're all gonna be my sexy voice. Hello, you must be Sergi. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll uh, follow me. I hope the farm is full of demons. Seriously, Grandpa, look at this field. This is Clover Farm. It's 20 years of bullshit. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. Your Grandpa buried a lot of bodies under there 20 years ago. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. I can't wait. We're going to have the biggest and bestest farm. And here we are, your new home. All you owe is $80,000 in property taxes. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Grandpa was a true professional. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. You are so late, Oscar. So late. Rustic. That's one way to put it. Krusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude. Craptastic. Don't listen to her, Sergei. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Mm, it's just business. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you want to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, God. So I need to go to town and just talk to everyone. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Mario had to enter the witness protection program and come here. Hopefully I don't have to talk to absolutely everyone in town to progress. Or I'll be really sad. Okay. Parsnip seeds. Awesome. We received 15 of them. Here's a little something to get you started. We got various channels. Let's watch Living Off the Land, shall we? Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Sweet. Actually, let's also check the fortune teller. Ah, I sense that a new viewer has joined us. A young man from Stardew Valley? Welcome, welcome. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Okay, so what do we start with? Pretty much all the tools are already in our backpack, which is awesome. No idea what any of this is. I guess these are skill levels that you can hopefully earn tons of experience in. Is this everyone in town? So we've met Robin. I don't know what that means. Maybe I need to give them gifts. They're on gift level one or something. This is the map. If we want to get to town, I'm going to have to go to the east. We should probably start... Uh, maybe start, just go south, past the pond, and do a counterclockwise circle. Yes, Jimoni, absolutely everyone. Um, so what is this, the crafting section? I guess so. The journal, if I want to be an item collecting whore and try to get everything, which I don't. Okay, what what are the options? Always show tool hit location. 
Sure, for now, just so I can see what they do. Show portraits. Hide tool hit when moving. Um, do not pause the game, actually. Blah, blah, blah. I don't... I don't know why I'd want my toolbar locked. And we're not going to mess with any of that. Okay. Now, how do I get out of this screen? I'm not even sure... Is this running right here? <laughs> I guess so. So walking and running. You don't actually have to press a button for it. Okay. Fiber. I really hope... That I'll be able to eat that. This is going to be our first little patch for planting stuff in, by the way. Parsnips. You can just hold down the button and run. So I got five more. I see my energy over there on the right. It actually goes down kind of quick. Probably one of the benefits to leveling up, I imagine. You can now swing your axe 30 times instead of 10. Okay. This right here will be the first thing I level up. If I have to. I want one that'll do one of those helicopter spins. That is really peaceful music. Music come back. I was actually wanting to shut up for a second and just listen to it. Um, so what I want want to do is I'm just going to clear out this entire... Well, I won't be able to clear it all out today, but I want to clear out as much of this as I can. Like, what is this? I can punch this stuff? Can I punch a tree? I can. I can shake things out of them. Oh, a ton of butterflies. Okay, so maybe I, this is like how I can harvest acorns and things like that. I don't know. I'm kind of curious now. If I get a net, can I capture all these butterflies? Add them to my collection? I'm pretty sure I saw a butterfly icon in the journal. So we can be a, an insect torturer. Pin them to a piece of styrofoam after we freeze them to death. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? I don't know. I never had a bug collection, guys. Somebody who did, go ahead and chime in. What's the proper way to preserve your your bugs? The most humane way. I don't know if I should cut these down. I'm going to assume that they're just regular trees, so let's do it. Woo. You hope dog has proper balls? I'm curious what that even means. But I don't know if I want to know. Larian. I'm gonna have to ask you to explain yourself. So I am getting some seeds from this. Mixed seeds. We'll have to start a little offshoot garden patch somewhere in order to test out these random mixed seeds that we're getting. All this damn fiber. I have a feeling it's only going to have a use like feeding animals. want to cut myself a, a path all the way to the south. So yeah, I'm not going to be able to break open these big boulders. My god, this is massive. Like, can I turn this whole place into my farm? How would you even have enough time in a day to, to manage something this big? Yeah, I know, Kate. Good lord. I was expecting to hit the bottom. So... Delegate. So, what you're saying, Lethal, is that much like a real farm back in the old day, I'm going to have to get married, pop out 12 kids, and hope most of them don't die to some type of 
horrible childhood illness. With our old as hell medical system out here. Also, I don't know why I'm still, like, clearing all of this out. I've got more than enough cleared out. Maybe I should... I'm just gonna clear all this down. Okay, using the axe is by far the biggest drain of energy. I don't think I can cut down too many more trees. I better save the rest of my energy. It's only 1 o'clock and we still have all of town to run around. Um, hang on. Okay. That right there is sap. If you were curious what strange thing I had picked up. Get out of there. I haven't seen any level ups or anything like that. Lethal. Crap. I might not have enough energy to break my way to where I need to go. Okay. It was down below the pond here. That's a fishing spot, by the way. I remember that from like one of the little teaser videos. Farm and Pelican Town. Now, yeah, there should be this house here. What does that say? I must know. It's got a plaque there. They're blocking it. That is so rude. Knock knock, is anyone home? I hope my new neighbors don't mind me just barging in. You're not good enough friends with Jazz to enter her bedroom. Well, Jazz isn't around, so... Why am I asking? It's Marnie. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Marnie. Probably pronouncing that completely wrong. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. That's Shane's bedroom. How many, how many people live in this house? Three people. I thought it was going to be somewhere I might be able to buy some things, but okay. Hello, neighbors. It's locked. Only Leah's friends can enter unfit. Uninvited. Well, fine. <sighs> we'll just have to find her and befriend her, whether she likes it or not. Cinder, Sap, Forest, and Pelican Town. What I want to find is one of the first places to actually go fight. That's how I'm going to spend my nights after we tend to our plants. We're going to go into the mine or wherever it is and just gladiator style everything. It's set to the news station. Okay. Is anybody home? I feel strange just walking in unannounced everywhere. Especially when there's no one no one even in the house. Oh, hello. It's Jed. Jody. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Well, hello. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things, because no one else around here ever thought about farming, apparently. And she has nothing else to say. That's kind of cool. If they have nothing else to say, you can't even interact with them. They're not going to sit there and repeat their bullcrap to waste your time. Because the clock is ticking. Oh, a stranger. My name is Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Okay. Do I? Is it the beard? I don't think bad guys normally have beards. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Is it? I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. I hope I do too, Doc. And only time will tell if I'll actually enjoy growing all this random bullshit. And milking animals. In fact, that's what we need to aim for, is just an animal farm. Primarily chickens. Hello, Avok. The Star Drop Saloon. I have a feeling we're going to be spending a lot of time here, too. For fuck all you people, we're going to the jukebox. 
What else do we have? Cloud Country, Grandpa's theme. Ja Why would I want to listen to Jaja ja Office? No. Subtly known. I'm sure. I'll play that one. Just want to see what it is. Hello, is anyone back here? I'm guessing these are the inn rooms. You're not good enough friends with Gust. Enter his bedroom. Maybe visitors will come through here. Can harass them for knowledge of the outside world. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. And don't you forget it. Hey, kid, I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sorry you can't. I can't afford anything either, really, though, so... I have 500 gold pieces. Various recipes? Nope. If there's one thing I've learned, it is save all of your money in the start of a game. Hey, look at that. It's a bear. Who are you? Shane. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? I don't know. Because I'm talking to everyone I was told to by the fucking mayor. Oh, this is kind of cool. There's a skull-shaped keyhole in the arcade. Journey of the Prairie King. Hang on, I'm gonna need a drink. Journey of the Prairie King, huh? <laughs> okay, so it's a directional shooter. I'm guessing that we can't go out of this room. Can I pick stuff up? I did drop something. I don't know what's going on. Help me. My mouse pointer is flying all over the screen. Partial mouse support is right. Come back. Fuck. I was so close. And a wagon wheel? Okay. Can I just keep this forever? I'm guessing no. It seems like it would be really overpowered. So they, they, I just noticed this, they have the left thumbstick mapped to the actual mouse in the game. It's making my mouse cursor dance all around. I'm gonna end up clicking on a program and launching. Okay. I feel like I could do this for quite a long time, by the way. I know those power-ups don't last forever. The music's catchy. No, if Thumb Mouse is the future, kill me now. I hope VR takes over. Oh, I can go... Okay, I guess it... You can move along. So it just gets harder and harder as you advance. Where's the boss character? Where's my toasters and microwaves? I feel like I should be winning cool prizes right now. Except I guess instead of toasters and microwaves, it'd be like, you've won a new set of shears. Hey, that looks fun. Oh, hey, come back here, new guy. I don't like that. Can I kill you? Yes. Question is, do I need to kill you? I'm gonna die. It's too much. I spent, I spent all my, uh, all my fucking ammo that I needed on that damn shell thing. There we go. <laughs> Wait, I don't want another life game. I wanted it to be one and done. I am winning coins though, which I'm not entirely. Sure what they do. Is it gonna print out tickets for me at the end? I can exchange for grand prizes. Do I have a bomb or something? Fuck you guys, I want that. I don't know what it does, but. Was that good or bad? I'm the scarecrow now. I don't know if I just powered up like the Highlander or if that thing debuffed or gimped me somehow.
Go back, I want that coin. Supercharged coffee. Are you good or bad? Okay, so this is what the coins are. I can win cowboy boots. A box to hide in or a revolver. Let's get cowboy boots. I have no idea what those are for. I think maybe they make me a little bit quicker. It'd be awesome if I could take those out of the game. Back to my ranch. Now I got shit kicker boots. Okay. Well, I probably shouldn't be fighting near the entrance now that I think about it. Okay, now we're on roguelike mode. If we die, that's it. We're probably never coming back to this game unless there's an actual reason. Fun or not. We got turnips to grow. Fucking... I'm the doom guy, get away from me. Even without my shotgun. I'll still kill, kill you, you barrenness of hell. No! Wait a second. One life... Of, I, I, apparently I don't understand the counting system. I lied. I'm a, I save scummed. I'm gonna wagon it. That's what I wanted. Can I just sit here? If I had tea, this is where I would I'd just drink it. I'm only cornered by you jerks. At least let me die a noble death. To one lone zombie. I need a bomb. Okay, what is that? Okay, <laughs> that is a good thing. I think it's tur It's not a good thing. It's too quick. No one needs this much speed. Controls are not that precise. Can I earn a new life, by the way? Like, can I actually get... Can I get stuck in this? I pressed start. I don't know what that did. It made a sound. Good call, Slacks. Am I Daniel Boone? Who am I? I'm just glad none of these guys have ranged attacks. I should not have moved. Honestly. Yep. I should not have moved. Lives are negative one. I like that. Um, quit. What, can I not quit? Am I trapped forever? It's got my soul. Buy a Joja Cola? No. No, why would I want to buy anything that reminds me of them? We're going all, all natural now. Okay. I guess there's nothing else in here. <sighs> I was hoping it was, Jimoni. Now we gotta go back to this thing. Did did time pass while I was playing that? I feel like it did. Hello. It's Emily. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Well, someone needs to keep that jukebox going. Yeah, that's dangerous. That's a huge time investment. Like, no payoff. There's a dog there. She probably did, but I'm too dense to get it, Oscar. Oh, hey. So you're the new guy, huh? Cool. Awesome. Grand. I'll see you around. Okay, I guess you will. Because you're done talking to me. It's George. <laughs> it's irritating to have to meet all these new people. <laughs> Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. No, I have questions. You need to give me answers. 
Evelyn. Why hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. I'd rather not. Unless you absolutely make me. I'm gonna have to go get some tea here in a minute. This is unfortunate. You're not good enough friends with Alex to barge into his room. Wait, come back. It's 8 o'clock and I think that this town shuts down and dies. So, yep, everybody seems to be running home. I think we can get back this way. Unless I'm mistaken. We have to go north on this cobblestone road. And then take a shortcut that's probably going to have me hack through a dozen rocks again. It might have. Maybe, maybe I need to go back and read it better. I feel like I'm lost, and I am. Our first day in this town, we're going to pass out from exhaustion like some dirty hobo and disgrace ourselves forever. The townspeople will never trust us again, basically. <laughs> halt. Take care, my little parsnips. We'll be back to water you in the morning. And... Yep, we will sleep for the night. I'm sure that there's maybe some events we could go do, but... Too bad. I'm not gonna stay up all night long. Just to go, like, catch a falling star or something. And... Time is passing. I don't like this. Let's see. The fortune teller. Welcome to Wellwick's Oracle. The only show where the voice of the spirits is channeled directly to you. The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Okay. But, since this pauses it, I can see the clock up there. I'm gonna go get some tea. And then when we come back, it's time for... Probably talking to more townspeople, because, like, half of the town we didn't even get to. Because I wasted way too much time in that stupid arcade.
Shotgun shells, cyanide pills, what the hell do you guys think is going on in this game? And hey, we've got Mel. Hello there, just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. It's a willy! Well, I can't really pass up an offer like that. Um, so the beach is all the way to the southeast. Uh, let's water the plants. Hopefully it doesn't kill them if I walk on them. They move when I walk on them. I think that's a bad thing. I don't rightfully know. Uh, I have a feeling... I'm gonna, you know what? Fuck it. If it kills them by walking on them, so be it. I'll just learn a lesson. It definitely slows me down. Hopefully my guy's taking his sweet time. Walking through his tilled garden. Like any intelligent farmer would do. Instead of being an idiot. That's what I was wondering, Oscar. It looked, it looked exactly like a parsnip. But we'll see. I hope it's not. But I have a feeling it is, because if this game has 112 shirts, I'm pretty damn sure he probably took the time to make the sprites for the plants. Completely different in every stage. We'll, we'll find out. Hello, whatever your emo name is, I can't remember you. Wait, maybe she was the one behind the bar, I don't know. Some of them look really similar to me, I still- it's gonna take me a while to learn who they are. And even then, I probably won't unless I end up actually caring about them. Hey boy, I noticed your beard. You look like a man of the sea like me. So maybe we can go crabbing. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. <laughs> Resident weapons dealer. I got what you need. I got what you want. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. So here, I want you to have my old willy. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. That guy is totally smoking the reefer. He is way too mellow of a sea captain, and that's what's in his pipe. You received a bamboo pole. I'm going to waste way too much time fishing. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah. My shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy back anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say, anyway. Okay. So do I have to go into your shop to buy things, or...? Can I buy them for, straight from you? Ahoy there! It's nice to see young folk moving into the valley. It's not very common these days. Most of them go to the city for their 4G and their, and their Uber. It's locked. Open 9 a.m. So it opens in 30 minutes. It's not going to be an amazingly complex fishing game, Slaxer. Is that a sewer pipe? That's definitely something, isn't it? Oh, you mean along the cliff? That looks like a sewer pipe, too. It's definitely not healthy looking. I like how they have routines, too, based on the clock. They all seem to move around. So, we can buy a bamboo pole, which I don't know why we would, or trout soup. Okay, I was thinking I could buy bait from you, but maybe I don't even need bait. I don't think I did that right. Okay. So... What do I do? Yeah, he doesn't just teleport into the store, which is awesome. Like, I don't... Did Rune Factory even do that? 
Okay. Oh crap. What do I do? I don't I don't know what I'm doing. There's things happening. I don't know what's going on. Click to raise bar. Release bar. Buttons. Okay, we're gonna have to We're gonna have to do this again. I have I have I, I, I have no words for what was going on there. Half a second too late. The tenth of a second too late. I like how this guy gave me the fishing rod and then didn't force me to do a huge tutorial. Mm -hmm. I couldn't move the bar though. I don't I don't know what was happening. Like Oh, I've got to tap it and it bounces. Hang on. I don't understand why it was bouncing so much last time. Okay. Sunfish link. You have to tap it and like juggle it to keep it on the fish. But last time it was like bouncing from the bottom to the top without me even hardly doing anything. Maybe it's pressure sensitive too. Oh god, it's like some horrible carnival game. I can't even talk while doing it because I've got to mash that button. Okay. Let's go sell this stuff to him. Um, I like fishing in Harvest Moon too, generally. 30 and 30. It's not very bad. I have a feeling I'm going to like it in this. I'm just not going to be able to talk or do anything while, while fishing. It's just going to be me and the rod. Me and the fish. Come here, seagulls. I've got some Pepto-Bismol to feed you. Is the sunfish. Did you have to remind me? Also, thanks for teleporting me, game, because now I have no idea where I'm at. I've got unfilled in sections of my map now. It's not going to be a true, accurate representation of where I've been. It's locked. Only Elliot's friends can enter uninvited. Well, good timing. Hello, Elliot, I'm guessing. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm sure it is, Fabio. Hey, this guy's not necessarily a cunt waffle. Look, he lives in a, a little shitty shack by the beach. That's not cuntish. Is it? He's got an awesome little bonfire. He's got glorious hair. He does look like a dick, but we can't judge a book by its cover. Hmm. With 300 pieces of wood, this could be fixed. Why would I want to fix that? Exactly. What's wrong with a guy loving his glorious mane? He's got beautiful man hair. Hello, flower that I'm just gonna steal. Eat this daffodil? No. Why? Why in ever would you ever do that? Why in the history of anything would you eat a daffodil? Uh, a traditional tea setting. The mayor must be pretty serious about tea. All good chaps are serious about tea. Ask Avak. It's the mayor's fridge. It's mostly full of milk and iced tea. If you don't have at least, you know, probably five or six different types of tea in your kitchen, then I'm gonna have to ask you if you're serious about your tea. Because you're probably not. Where, where have I not been? I've been to the saloon. I really kind of wish I had a mini-map. Like, I'm, I can't remember if we've been here. Yes, we have. It was Terrence. I'm gonna remember that guy in the wheelchair is Terrence, okay? I'm playing too much mush. That would actually be awesome. If I could rename the mayor, that's uh, that's the name I would give him, Slaxer. Someone make a mod for that, okay? Beggars can't be choosers in the game, though, Avag. It's the closest representation we might get. 
It's Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. Why are you so blue? Are you a cartoon? It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Okay. Joja Cola. Fuel your life. The Joja Mart? Life's better with Joja. What the hell is going on with Joja? I mean, I... Why was he in a corporate office sitting behind a computer desk, but they're also a grocery store? Was he working down in home office or something? And this guy's name is Morris. Welcome to Joja Mart. How are you doing today? Anything is possible at Joja Mart. I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you want to become a Joja member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. I'm pretty sure that guy is the cunt waffle. Out of all the guys we've bumped into so far. Double Butter Ranch Chips. That sounds disgusting. Like diarrhea in a bottle is what that sounds like. Just about ranch anything is disgusting. I'm sorry if you like ranch, but... Ranch Doritos, maybe. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. He's doing his best to zone out and forget that he's even in this hellhole. At least for the next eight hours, he's going to be pretty much a zombie. Hey, you. Don't be snooping around the trailer when I'm out. Got it? I don't even... Oh, wait. I know what trailer. Sorry, but I gotta be cautious with strangers. I think I know what trailer. Why well, you gotta be cautious? You got some pot plants in there? You got a fucking mobile meth lab in that trailer? Huh, Miss White? You wanna speak up on the subject a little bit? I'm watching you, Miss White. You, She's shoplifting. She didn't even pay for that. I saw her pocket that. Do you guys even care? Of course you fucking don't. Because this company's shit, isn't it? Joja Cola, wallpaper... I could... I could decorate one of my rooms with Joja wallpaper. Joja Cola light. Parsnips needs a bean starter. Plant these in the spring. Takes ten days to mature, but keeps producing after that. Yields multiple beans per harvest and grows on a trellis. Okay, cauliflower seeds take 12, takes 12 days to produce a large cauliflower. Potato. Has a chance of yielding multiple p potatoes at harvest. Popotos. Tulips. Jazz seeds. Takes 7 days to produce a blue puffball flower. Well, holy crap. I want some jazz seeds. Kel seeds. Harvest with a scythe. Grass for cows. Other stuff for cooking. I'm thinking I'm going to go for potato seeds. Actually. That's too catchy. You know what? My inventory is basically full. I hope I don't need money for anything else. Because, yes, we're going with potatoes. See you suckers later. I doubt I'll get around to planting them today. What is this place? Out of order. Oh shit, folks. Is this the mine where the combat's gonna take place? All the murdering? All the looting? All the grinding? Every night after farming? That's where we're going. I don't know if there is a local one, Alpha and Navak. I'm sorry, I don't have time right now to search for local. I gotta get what I can get at the start. And then I'll be the local, okay? Yeah, it's 5 p.m., holy shit. Gunther. Hello there, welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display. But I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? Yeah, sure. Um, okay. We've got a floating book icon. Whoa. Tips on farming. Use fertilizer to improve quality, reduce workload, or hasten crop growth. 
Fruit trees take a whole season to grow, but they require very little maintenance. Keep the area directly around your new sapling clear, or else it may not grow properly. Crops will die as soon as the season ends unless they grow in multiple seasons, example corn. Some crops, such as kale and wheat, need to be harvested with the scythe, or you will completely waste everything. Okay. There's a book missing here. But there's a lot of books that aren't missing, so let's focus on that, shall we? How do you know a book is missing? There's a book missing here. Okay, we're gonna have to find the one book. There's a number missing from the Dewey Decimal System here. I, I know that there's one that goes here. We're gonna have to hunt 902.34.8 down. Put it back in the collection. What the hell are you? You spooky little stuffed kangaroo thing. I kind of want to pull out an axe or something and hit that. Yeah, potatoes are. But it's too late now. We're invested. We've spent our starting fund. Uh, where the hell am I? Okay, so we've been up to Joja Mart. I need to go back up there. Then go to the left. And then go all the way north. It looked like maybe the mine was up there. I should go back this way. Right? I can sneak behind Joja Mart. Well, the thing I like about potatoes, too, is I'm... It didn't say specifically they were multiple season, but in real life, potatoes are multiple season. Um, and I like the fact that you can get multiple ones. Okay. It's 7.20 already. God, days go by quick in this. I love it. It's going to be... You're going to have to make decisions and choices about what to do with your time. Is there anything down here? I don't know. I don't have the time to commit to it. Excuse me, I saw somebody up here. I would like to talk to whoever you are. It's going to take me forever to get back home now that I'm thinking about it, too. Hey, this guy's got a telescope. And it's nighttime. Or this girl, I mean. I don't know who it is. It's Robin. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. No, I haven't. And it's day two of my expedition to meet people. Hell, Harvest Moon... You're not good enough friends to sneak in behind her. Okay. Hey, maybe a basement. Sebastian's room. It's kind of a cool place. I don't know what I was saying about... Before I got distracted about sneaking into her bedroom. Unfortunately, I can't use the telescope, and that is locked. We're gonna have to keep our eyes open for a lockpick set. Probably gonna have to order that online or not online because I don't think there's any computers here but on the TV I could follow this path all the way back to the mines and to some crazy cookie crop circle looking place but we've got to head home so it's going to be like midnight before I find my way there probably is stargazing I imagine you have to unlock it I would be really surprised if, if you couldn't look through that or interact with it at some point. Try to kill her in her sleep? No! Oh god, where am I? I need to go... No, don't throw that away, that'd be dumb. Which is exactly something I would do on a stream. Completely screw myself over. What is this place? A spooky... Clock tower. Has anyone seen a DeLorean? I don't know what that is. Picnic bench. Where's my turn at? Oh my god, guys, we're gonna be lost forever. I don't think I'm ever getting home. This is the night we curl up on a park bench. I, did, I totally missed that little thing. Hello, Kyra. 